Already, these major axes are being established. And as these cells are moving and heading towards the places in the embryo where they're going to develop, they're also changing what they're going to do eventually. They're committing themselves, in most cases, irreversibly to particular functional roles. On day two, the bird's spinal cord, ears, and eyes take shape. Its vascular and circulatory systems are established, and its heart beats for the first time. At hour 46, the head of the embryo starts to arch into the fetal position. Throughout the second day, a network of blood vessels branches from the embryo into the yolk. They will transport vital nutrients back to the growing organism. You gotta pay attention to the details. You have genes being switched on and off, interaction, cell communication. It's an elaborate dance. It's like a ballet taking place on a stage with thousands of cast members. All of them are doing everything they're supposed to on cue, in the right order, in the right sequence, in the right time. The process itself is so amazing. It transcends anything we know. With the groundwork of major systems and organs now in place, the next 19 days are devoted to the completion of their development. So you've gone from that one cell that can become anything and 21 days, billions of different cells doing hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of tasks in the organism.